Hello, my name is Dr. Stephanie Wright. I'm a lecturer of environmental toxicology in the MRC Centre for Environment and Health. And here I lead the microplastics research team. So my team's interests are in understanding exposure to plastic pollution and whether that can impact human health. But I'm not talking about plastic pollution that you might consider like bottles in the environment and litter. I'm talking about microscopic particles and fibres of plastic, which are so small, um, they're invisible to the naked eye and these are called microplastics. So my team have recently discovered that these particles contaminate the air that we breathe and so now we're trying to understand how much we're breathing in and what impact that might have on the body. So this is an important um, challenge to solve because we know that elevated exposure to other types of particles in the air can lead to disease and premature mortality. We don't know what role microplastic has within that. We also know that um, efforts are being made to regulate other sources of air pollution um, and are being successful, but plastic and microplastic release is not being regulated and so as other emissions start to tail off and drop, the proportion of microplastic in air pollution is going to increase. And so it really is an issue, if not for now, definitely for the future. Um, it's a real challenge because microplastic come from a range of different sources, um, which reflects our wide use of plastic, um, you know, from synthetic clothes to carpets to um, transport to construction and packaging. So there are real layers of complexity in addressing this challenge, which is emerging. So we have a lot more questions than we do answers right now. But one thing is clear, um, microplastic comes from plastic. And so for as long as we continue to produce plastic, we're likely to be producing microplastics indirectly too. And so in order to minimize our exposure and possibly improve our health in the future, and if not now, we need to be reducing plastic production. And by doing so, we'll also be reducing uh, carbon um, greenhouse gas emissions. So from COP26, I want to see um, commitment go beyond words. I want measurable actions, measurable change um, and a conversation which incorporates all sources of global greenhouse gas emissions, including plastic and plastic production. So I think that needs to be on the agenda as well. And ultimately I want to see net zero being achieved.